Test, test, test. Hey guys, welcome back to Summer JP, and I'm Alex. It's been a while since my last video. It's been very, very busy with life. I, I moved recently, and I've just been working a lot. The Japanese working culture is, is real. It's real, guys. <laughs> but since I work as a game programmer here in Tokyo, working completely in Japanese, I've been keeping track of the words I hear on the daily so I can finally, at some point, introduce them to you guys. When I first started learning Japanese, and when I was preparing to work in Japan, I really, really wanted a resource like this. So instead, now I hope to become one of those resources. There's so many words I want to introduce, so the first couple episodes of this Code in Japan series, I'm going to be focusing on the most common words that you guys need. I might be using some of the words I introduced in my last programming related video, so if you need to review at all, feel free to check that out first. Also, I really, really want to stress that my focus in this video and later videos in this series as well is going really, really in deep on the words that I introduce rather than focusing on quantity. So rather than just staying at the surface level when introducing these words, I really want you guys to understand the nuances behind these words so then you can use them and understand them a lot better later. So finally, let's get started. Jisso. This is a noun and a pseudo verb. So, as a programmer, when creating a system or feature, this is the most general word that you can use for the action of actually doing so. It's kind of similar to implement or develop. So, if you want to say something like, I developed a company employee management system, you could say, One thing I really, really like about Japanese is that if you want to make something short, for example, if you just want to report the tasks that you're working on or something and just trying to keep that short in like a bullet point list, you can keep them really, really short. So, if you want to say something like, planning to implement next month, you can just say something like If you want to say something like completed the rough implementation, for example, if you just started working on this feature and you have like the base of it, right? You can say something like also a pseudo verb and a noun. Honestly, this is probably more common than jisso. You'll be using this like 10 times a day easily, and it just means to fix something, anything. For example, for fixing bugs, bug wo shusei, or fuguai wo shusei. By the way, there's a really, really interesting nuance between bug and fuguai. Bug is just like the English, like a bug, something that's actually wrong, like a maybe a crash or something like that, right? Or just a straight up, something is wrong, right? But fuguai is a bit more of an, a vague, bug in a way it could be something that's just not working as intended it's like not exactly a bug but it's just something's a little off for example something like a really clunky slow ui or something that's not exactly a bug it's just kind of not ideal in my opinion something like that would be more of a fuguai than a bug you can also use shusei for maybe like fixing a mistake in a code review code review de no wo shusei. also just for like fixing a typo for example so, typo wo shusei. By the way, there is a Japanese only word for the word typo, and it's goji. So, you can say goji wo shusei suru, but it's pretty formal and only really used in writing, so I'd keep that in mind. Sakujo, sakujo, also a suru verb and a noun. I have a feeling a lot of people already know this word or have heard this word before. Sakujo. Sakujo. So this just means delete, and it's used just like the English word is used. So deleting a file or folder. File wo sakujo. Or when programming and you need to delete an unnecessary function. So there's actually another common word that's used as delete as well, and that's shoukyo. Sakujo is usually used for deleting part of something, while shoukyo is used for deleting something completely, like purging something. So for example, if you're talking about like an image that you have and just part of it has an issue, if you want to ask someone to fix the image and you said something like, they would probably just remove that part of the image or maybe crop it or like fix it just that one area, right? But now if you say something like, they might just delete the entire file. <laughs> and you can see this new one's actually just from the kanji of sakujo. The saku part of sakujo comes from the verb kezuru, kezuru. And this means to like shave something off, to cut something down like a pencil, right? Or like savings or something like that, right? The meaning of just part of something getting cut off is right in that word. Jikko. Jikko, also a pseudo verb and a noun. So this means to execute something. Not not like just like you know executing a process or application or something. So commonly you'll see something like jikko chu during execution, like when something is running currently, like a game. If you want to say something like to execute a command, it would just be komando wo jikko suru. Komando wo jikko suru. To run a game, you could say game wo jikko suru. However, this does sound pretty technical, so it kind of has the nuance of focusing on the actual process that you're trying to execute on your computer rather than just like the game generally. So something to keep in mind as well there. One word you'll hear more commonly 
commonly for running a game or application, it would be Kido, Kido. And it's really commonly used for just running a computer itself, like starting a computer. So related, you can say Sai Kido for restarting your computer. This is exactly what's used in like the Microsoft UI and everything as well. And there you see the really, really common prefix of Sai, mean, mean do something again, right? Sai Jiko, Sai Shusei. You can really just attach this to anything. And it's a really, really useful construction. Shori, also a pseudo verb and noun. This means something like process or operation, and it's used as a noun or verb equally as often. Usually used for more complex operations, you'll see currently processing as shori chu pretty often. Or you might see jidou shori, jidou shori as automated processing, for example, when you submit code to a repository and it automatically does some sort of analysis on it or something. For something more game related, to say something like to implement the player jump mechanics would be something like no jump shori wo jisso. I see it's hacked on as a suffix to a lot of words for especially save shori, load shori for like save and load operations. Shitoku, a pseudo verb and a noun. This one will only make sense to people that know about source control, so like git or perforce, but I was dying to figure out how to express this when I first started working. Normally this just means to acquire or obtain something, but in a programming environment, it's used specifically for when you wanna, you know, sync to a specific branch or someone else's changes or something like that. So you would just say branch wo shutoku suru to grab someone's branch. One really, really common case that I use this in is for example, in a game, you have all the code in one area and all the art and content in one area, right? But if I have a new feature that requires requires a specific content sign change as well. But when I ask someone to review my code, I would usually say something like Before validating this code side change, please also get this content side change as well. Sancho. Also, so this means reference and it's used in programming as well when you're referencing like another object or something like that. So in game engines, you know, like Unity or Unreal 4, you can have a variable and have that reference another object. So setting that reference would be sancho wo sette suru. And sette just means to set something, right? And it's used for actual the settings of a game as well. I did a video way back about the UI of Genshin Impact and going through some of the Japanese used there. And I'm pretty sure this word came up as well there. Sometimes in programming, a reference would be lost, for example, or unset. In this case, I've seen sancho ga kiru or sancho ga hagareru. Kiru obviously just means to cut, right? So kind of like a reference has been cut off. So hagareru means something to be peeled off, right? And I think your word usage here kind of matters on how you sort of visualize what a reference actually is. If it feels like a string that you're you're attaching between people, kiru might make more sense. If it feels like a post-it note that you attach to something, maybe hagareru might make more sense. A common issue in programming is a circular reference, right? And this in Japanese would be a junkan sancho. Something I caused recently, actually. Hmm. Junkan means circulation, right? Uh, one of my favorite words actually is aku junkan, a like vicious cycle, something that just keeps getting worse and worse with by itself kind of thing, right? And of course, sancho can still be used for the non-programming related meaning of reference. So just like using something as a reference. So for example, saying to someone, please fix it using the below link as a reference. So this means to expand, to extend something. I actually use this really, really often in programming when there's a system that's already in place and I want to add functionality to it. So to say, to extend an existing system, you would say, You also have extend kid. This means extension. As in, like, you know, .pdf, .png, .jpeg, like an extension, kakuchoshi. And that's it for the video. While well, making this video, I realized how many words are important. And it can get really discouraging when you see all this new vocab that you've never heard before, right? But it's something that you get used to really quickly. And there's a lot of patterns that kind of pop up that you unconsciously start learning. So hopefully you can find a way to keep yourself motivated and keep going. If you have any questions, please let me know down below or on my Twitter at somewhatjp. But yeah, if you have any follow-up questions or you have other specific topics you want me to cover, let me know wherever you can find me. And uh, hopefully I can see you guys again soon. Nomination I didn't. Bye bye. Oh, it's been so long since I last recorded. It feels good to do something again, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I hope to keep this up honestly. Ah, there's so many words. There's so many words. I don't even know where to start from. There's so I but I have a huge list now of words I'm trying to introduce. So keep 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 watching. Keep watching. Uh, and I'll keep making. <laughs>